The 26th of July is another big day for armed reconnaissance. The Germans, who have to move stuff around to get their forces positioned to counter this breakthrough that's developing at St. Lo, are out on the roads and that's just a bad situation to be in when the Allies have air cover to the extent that they do. Now the situation on the ground is that the Americans throughout the night had moved as far forward as these brown lines that we see on the map. The timing was deemed to be right and General Collins committed his armor and you can see the probes made by the armor on the day outlined there with the green arrows followed up by infantry advancing forward and actually securing the ground and moving up on the day as far as the green solid lines. So with this, just sort of about three miles of penetration that they achieved there during that day, they're already through the bulk of the German defenses, and I'll back out and uh, remembering the battles around Caen where the British had advanced further and further than that, but they kept running into more and more German defenses stacked up in depth around Caen. So by drawing those forces to the Caen area and holding them there, the Americans were able to punch through, getting that armor back behind the defenses. So that is the situation as it stands right now on the 26th in that sector. Now, yeah, another uh, big day for armed reconnaissance here. Now, let me get set up and we'll go through the squadron summaries. So 441 describes Captain McDonald, the dental officer at 144 Wing, reported to this base for work with 441 Squadron and temporarily attached to 125 Wing. An armed reconnaissance to the Benny Bukaj 3 hardcore area was carried out by 12 of our aircraft. Scattered MET were attacked, resulting in one flamer, three smokers, and one AFV damaged. A flak position was also shot up. In the afternoon, a frontline patrol by eight Spitfires and a beachhead patrol by four Spitfires proved uneventful. Early in the evening, eight aircraft carried out a further frontline patrol. It was uneventful except that one typhoon was seen smoking badly, and later the pilot was seen to bail out and land behind our lines. Late in the evening, 12 aircraft left on an armed reconnaissance of the Benukaj Dom Front Flare area. Scattered MET were attacked and one flamer and one smoker were seen. And Flying Officer Skelton has been posted to the squadron for work with wing intelligence. 442 describes a bright day, 12 unarmed recce at 0625 and hit a few armored vehicles and trucks. Goodbyes were said to Flight Lieutenant Wright, who left today on completion of a second tour. Is that not like the fourth or fifth time we've seen that? Entry, I'm very confused now. At 0900 hours on 15 minute readiness with the squadron up at 1105. Scrambled to hunt for enemy aircraft but couldn't locate any. As there's been no leave since the end of May, the boys are glad to have squadron leader Doubting start on a 48 at noon. Or in other words, a 48 hour leave. It would be common at the time to sort of rotate pilots back to England. You know, probably in the Auster or just flying a Spitfire back. Have them hang out there for a few days on leave and then come back with a new aircraft or, you know, some excuse to get the guys rotated out of the area for a while. So that's what that's all about. Airborne at 1405 on armed recce, shot up some MT and put a staff car in a ditch. Flying Officer Miller hit in the aileron by flak and at 1700 hours, another armed recce, more MT shot up and 51 hours of total flying time. So yeah, a lot of movement today. 26 July for number 443. Weather clear with good visibility, later in the morning became 10 tenths cloud at 3,000 feet. During the late afternoon, the sky cleared again, visibility was very good. One Falk Wolf 190 destroyed by Flying Officer Steven today on a fighter sweep to the Paris area. He used only 9 rounds from each cannon at 200 yards range. Announcement was made this evening of the award of the DSO to the squadron leader McLeod, who has now 20 aircraft destroyed to his credit. And the DSO there was Distinguished Service Order, an RAF decoration given typically in uh, wartime for combat actions. So first up is a 0625 Armed Recce by number 442. Let me get on the right page there. Okay, Armed Recce in the usual area, scoring two MET Flamers and one Smoker. Weather clear. 443 is up at 0820 and 12 aircraft dispatched on Armed Recce, 6 carried 500 pound bombs. Five dropped from seven to 2,000 feet near a bridge at these coordinates, and one dropped safe in the area, just jettisoned, probably due to uh, mechanical troubles. Patrol carried out at three to 5,000 feet, and scattered MET observed and shot up, including two flamers, two smokers, and two damaged in the Lasso area. I was disappointed to find that throughout this entire day, everything just happened in a place that I don't have imagery for. This is the bridge that they hit, and it's the usual description of near misses in the area, so. Now up is a 0830 441 squadron. 
Armed Recce, and this is Scattered MET attacked, resulting in one flamer, three smokers, one AFV damaged, and a flak position at these coordinates was shot up with good results. And again, this was just outside the frame of some imagery of the town itself. But this field right here, right by this village, is where they shot up that flak position. Now, a little while after they were down, 11.05 to 11.45, we have a scramble by 442. Scrambled in the Kaborg area, chased some bogeys to no avail. They're back down and then up soon again on armed recce. That is 14.05, two MET damaged and weather was as reported earlier. And at about that same time, actually a little bit earlier, I'm out of order here for some reason today, 1350 armed reconnaissance by number 443, and this is 12 dispatched at armed recce. Vector to 20 plus enemy aircraft flying east near Brene at 20,000 feet, but due to their height, the patrol was unable to close and engage. 100 goods wagons stationary in the Brene marshalling yard, and then an additional 50 at a junction observed, but flak barrage much too hot to attack. And here we have the marshalling yard and the junction in the vicinity of Bernay. And again, I'm just hitting all the little patches today where I don't have imagery available, but this is the exact location that was called out. And we have, in fact, if I come down here on the current imagery, more or less what they would have been seeing. I believe these are actually passenger cars right there, but uh, goods wagons right here at this location. Okay, we're going to go next to a 1425 patrol by number, or a series of patrols by number 441 squadron. And frontline patrol, uneventful, beach patrol, uneventful, and then another uneventful frontline patrol, and they're down from that at 1840. While that was going on, armed reconnaissance for number 442, this is 1700, and it is 100 scattered MET within 8 miles of Mesodon and were attacked. Claims of 3 MET flamers, 7 destroyed, and one AFB damaged in addition to one tank damaged. So that's a lot of stuff right there just in this general area that was uh, seen and strafed. As they were landing, 443 was up on a long range armed reconnaissance out here into the Paris area. Now this is 12 aircraft took off on armed reconnaissance. Considerable activity overdrew where 20 plus 190s and 109s were being engaged by Mustangs at 20,000 feet. Two Mustangs seemed to crash, one pilot seemed to bail out. One, Falk Wolf 190, was caught as he dove out of cloud at 220 yards range by Flying Officer Steven and destroyed. Two other aircraft chased by Flight Lieutenant Robillard's section to the outskirts of Paris, but the case had to be abandoned at 800 yards. No other enemy aircraft were found, scattered MET seen, and 441 closes out the day with another armed reconnaissance, 2035, and this is going to be scattered MET attacked, resulting in one flamer and one smoker. And I thought, surely, with all these coordinates being called out today, I would have some good stuff to look at when it comes to imagery. But, but we saw some current views of how a lot of this stuff looked and exactly the positions they were describing here. So that's good enough for me. I'm going to call it quits here and move on to the 27th and see what happens there. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.